our only goal today is becoming the most powerful archer in existence, and we're gonna do that by murdering other archers. Despite all the muscles we currently have, we're not as strong as we need to be, so we gotta kill as many people as possible to get those upgrades. I have a set amount of health and even stamina. It takes stamina to draw the bow. Every time we shoot, we use a little bit more stamina, but we murder someone. Currently, we're at 3 out of 9 people murdered, so we got just a few more to go. We only had to hit that guy once before he plummeted to his death. This guy is starting himself in a very vulnerable position, so let's see how that works out for him. I can also jump. It takes 10 stamina. This guy's got a flaming arrow, so let's try not to light ourselves on fire. Oh, this guy was smart enough to bring a helmet. Let's see if that helps him out. We gotta rapid fire some of these because uh, they get their shots up pretty quick. The helmet doesn't seem to have saved them. Not sure what this guy's wearing on his head. We can actually shoot their arrows away if we're quick. But we hit our score of 9 out of 9. This guy's got an electricity field arrow, but that's actually fun. I too want to have electricity arrows, so eventually we'll get the upgrades we need for those things. For now, we have a stupid basic arrow. Ow, I hit the golden apple and I got distracted. But I <laughs> removed that man's head entirely. See, if we get a stronger bow and arrow, we don't have to hit this guy multiple times in the head. I think we're just concussing him before ultimately murdering him. Which is funny, but uh, you know what? I would like to kill these guys more efficiently. Uh, we're going to go ahead and poke him in the head, and we got hit with a flaming arrow. Uh, I think we just burned to death, not sure what happened. But we did unlock poison arrows, so when we hit someone, they will slowly die to those. And we're going to spend 25 of our 30 kills on extra damage so far. Plus 3 damage poison arrows, let's see how those feel. Uh, okay, we mostly didn't do anything so far. We took an arrow in our own head. That's okay, because they're likely to miss the next shot. We're really... Uh, okay, we got him poisoned. I love how these guys start in these positions. Like, we just folded them in half. I think I want more drawing speed. That way we can rapid fire the arrows, because it is as it is, we can already go pretty quick. That man is wearing a bell on his head. That was so distracting, I literally shot the moon. But I think we got him now. I poisoned his hand, which chokes into his entire body. This man's literally going to fire an axe at me. Uh-oh, he got me with it. I'm gonna need one of those as soon as I can. I would also like to fire axes at people. Uh-oh. Okay, I did manage to shoot that one out of the air. These guys are getting good. He's turned golden. Okay, uh, we might be in trouble. That guy was number 15 out of 15, so I think that means we get some kind of bonus. The bonus is the satisfaction of murdering this guy. We're just gonna poison him and leave him sitting there. If he dies to shoot me, I can just counter his arrow. And he's dead. Oh, wait, so are we. With our $28, we're gonna increase our pull speed. Now we'll be able to kill them extra extra quick. So I saw how it worked. The more rounds we get through, the more better arrows we unlock. So right now, poison works pretty good. I passed my goal of round 16, but the archers are definitely getting stronger. They're getting really, really accurate themselves, and they're firing really strong things at me. Luckily, I can just spray arrows at them for now. Hey, that one took an apple with it. Uh, something's getting in the way of my arrows. That one killed me. So I think we're gonna try a little bit of armor. That puts a nice helmet on and might actually refresh our health. So I need to be sure to get 20 rounds for Electro. Starting with this guy and maybe a bomb hit if we're lucky, we missed the bomb. Uh, so far our helmet has not been overly helpful. We took an arrow in the leg. We of course don't have any armor in our leg, but we probably can get some later. It's nice of some of these guys to spawn nice and close. That way I can just hit him with one good arrow and off they go. Okay, this is man number 19 and it's actually a boss. So okay, we rapid fired him. Luckily we had some stamina. This man's got a pot on his head. Okay, so after level 20, we're fighting two at once, so that's obviously going to get hard, especially considering they're firing axes at me. But we're going to get double the kills per level now. Turns out when we're out of stamina too, we can only fire little baby shots that don't actually go anywhere. We've also unlocked both fire and electro arrows, so we're going to start with electro. We also have $78 to spend. I've also just increased my stamina refresh. I think I'm also going to increase my damage because I can afford to do so. So Electro Arrow should hit a lot harder. Bombs were great too. But having better stamina refresh is definitely going to help. Guys like this are actually really annoying to fight early on because you need to remove their head quickly. That hit me for 30 damage. I'm doing a lot more damage now so it only takes a hit or two to really mess someone up. The extra st stamina recovery is really nice because uh, I was literally at zero stamina already. And if I can manage to get a few quick hits on people like this, I can sit and relax and the stamina builds up quick. I haven't been able to tell yet if the electro arrows do damage over time or just make some flail around because it's electricity. I think it just makes some flail. And that's kind of funny in itself. Okay, we're already at the boss, so we're going to do kill him because he's firing big arrows at me. Those have got to hurt. Now it's just his stupid minion who <laughs> doesn't have very good balance. Ow. So far, we're... okay, that was just a bad spawn. Uh, that guy's probably going to fall, but he got arrowed from both sides. 
We got a direct headshot into that guy. That's just not quite enough to kill him, though. We need one more. So the extra damage definitely is helping uh, those two cuddled on the way down to death. So this guy we probably didn't have to kill because the guy behind him probably would have got him. But we're going to electrocute his leg anyway. That's when he gets wearing a pot on his head. Then we'll just laugh as he flails around and slowly dies. Never mind. That's definitely karma at work. So we've unlocked fire arrows. Next is a balloon fraction minigun. They get better and better as they can. You can scroll. We're going to take stamina and health because they're both cheap upgrades so far. Having 125 of both is actually going to be huge. Now we're going to find out how good fire arrows are. So far, pretty good. And they do damage over time. They probably make the person flail a little bit too. I probably would if I was shot with a fire arrow. That brings us really quickly to our boss fight. Wow, they were, wow, we suddenly can't shoot at all. But we're just going to rain fire arrows on this man. We'll burn him alive. The only way to defeat a boss, that hurt a lot. We're going to try and hit an apple. Got it. Okay, we got some health back from the apple, luckily. We headshotted that man. He's on fire and has a brain puncture. That man also has the same problem. It's when we start to have these multi-fights that things get hard because these guys don't die super easily and I've got to uh, compensate for two arrows coming my way. And when they get a lucky headshot, we get in trouble. Well, this is new for me. Uh, sort of lying down on the job here, but we're going to orient ourselves and fight back. We're going to make it look easy. Never mind. I'm going to turn up arrow slots to two. Then I can swap between arrow types using the right click. I'm not sure if that's going to come in handy yet, but it's going to exist. Eventually that'll be good. We'll find the arrows we need for different situations. I think up until wave 20 when we start fighting multiple people, fire arrows are better. I think electric are better now. That way I can uh, incapacitate the first guy who will get shot from behind. And that'll give me a sec to rebuild stamina. And now that guy's, well, having a seizure when you balance like that isn't good. So for the most part, I can use the electric arrows to actually regain stamina. Ow. As long as I can hit someone like that, then it gives me a second to build up and I can shoot again. That guy's also having a seizure. I don't know how he's managed to hold on to his little ledge there. That's okay. That'll still give me a second to quietly build up. Wave 39, it's a boss fight, so we're going to go ahead and unload this guy with electric arrows, and then more electric, and then fire. I'm running low on stamina, I'm just hoping to get all the damage in the world at him. I've also fallen over, but this is actually sort of to my advantage, because I'm really hard to hit down here. I'm not defeated yet, I'll never give up, I'm still holding on. I'm flailing around <laughs> like a madman, but we blocked something. I'm out of stamina and health. This is a rather vulnerable position. But I've also unlocked balloon arrows. I don't know what those do, so we're going to replace our fire with balloons. Then I got $200 to spend, so we're going to get more damage again, and then we're going to get pulse speed higher. On top of that, more stamina regeneration. So let's find out what balloons do. They inflate. Interesting. So what use is that going to have? Oh, it pulls them upwards and throws everything off. Well, they don't fall to their death as quickly, which is less funny. But I still think that's hilarious because that's going to throw them off and damage them. Like that man's got an arrow stuck in his leg, so he really couldn't do anything. <laughs> it's turning him upside down. This is the most trolly arrow. You hit them anywhere and it completely incapacitates them. Like this guy, I didn't even hit the first time. I missed and he's just got balloons in his way nonstop that are only there to get in his way. So he's just a sitting duck now. Oh, never mind. He's able to shoot through that. But once I get one in the head, that might pull his head off. I got one into either, <laughs> both of those guys' legs, so he's going to fly through the air now, never to be seen again. Same with that guy. Okay, so confirm. Two arrows will lift a man. Ooh, what if we lift and electrocute him? Now he's electrocuted and floating away. Okay, we're going to find out how well the arrows work against the boss. Can we make him float? We just about can. We get enough arrows in his abdomen. He's getting shot from mine. There he goes. That's better. Have a safe trip. Here's some electricity for your journey. Yeah, the balloon arrow is just the trolliest thing in the world, and I'm really here for it. I've saved up $276, so we're going to buy better armor, which gives us shoulder pads. Coming up on wave 50 very soon, so we're definitely into uncharted territory, but that's going to help us unlock some new stuff. Our stamina is not doing so hot right now. I thought there would be a boss at wave 50, but the enemies are definitely getting tougher. I have to le electrocute them or blow them up multiple times to kill them at this point. But the armor has been doing me wonders because I still have it on because they haven't been able to get a clean shot on me yet. Uh, this man managed to uh, balloon arrow me, so taste of my own medicine, but I think we're going to have him beat shortly. <laughs> wave 57, we're still going strong. Well, we managed to electrocute that man. We're just lying down, so we're harder to hit, obviously. Okay, we just ran into another boss at a really bad time because we're just lying on the ground. I'm just going to straight up switch to fire arrows to try and get him killed because he's probably going to do a lot of damage should he hit me like that. We did just get two new arrows unlocked, the Fraction and the Minigun. Plus we have $263, so I'm going to get more stamina and more stamina refresh because that's being very obvious how important that is. We're going to take a little more health also. 
So this is, wow, the minigun arrow. Uh, that's wild. It just fires a giant volley. It does not stop. The other one is the splinter arrow, which splinters into three as it goes. But we're going to have a fresh start. That man's not being protected by any arrows. So we hit him. Nope, I don't like this one. The minigun arrow might be more my speed. It's a little bit slow to fire. It's definitely slow to fire, but it does a lot of damage. So the minigun might be a little better than I thought because you can just fire it in little spurts like that. So that way if you know your trajectory, you follow up with three more arrows. So what we're actually going to need is even more damage. And on top of that, more stamina refresh again. This time I'm going armed with the multi-shot and electro arrows. I think those are going to be the winning combination. Uh, the boss at level 40 this time for some reason is got a big crossbow thing he's going to shoot me with so I don't know why I done to deserve this. Okay I've electrocuted him in the leg though I think my multi-shot can actually get under there. Luckily okay that arrow did hit me but we're gonna be okay. Okay we made it to the boss at level 60 he's wearing a lot of armor. Uh we do have a little bit of stamina not as much as I would like but we're doing our best to electrocute this idiot. Okay, the boss is dead. Now, as long as nothing goes too crazy, it's just one last idiot to deal with. So as soon as we learn to shoot, he's dead. Uh, but now we're fighting three at once and they're all at really, really uncomfortable angles. We're going to try and get some health off that apple. That's what multi-shot is good for and we're in trouble. I think at this point I'm going to need more armor probably because we're just going to be fighting all sorts of idiots. That guy hit a golden apple so he himself is getting healing. We have so many arrows in front of us, I can't do anything. So we're going to go ahead and increase our armor for $500. And also our damage again for 400. Now we're going to be hitting very hard. And we got extra armor on our front arm and it looks like our shoulder pad might also be more durable. So let's see what we can do against. Uh, it's a boss with a crossbow already so hopefully our armor holds up. It's getting a little bit hard to get through his defenses. It's just really hard to get through his stupid crossbow that's in the way. Okay, We're going to take out the top guy. Let's just get him out of the equation. Now all we gotta do is figure out how to get past this guy while our stamina is constantly in a state of recharge. This one boss, there we go, was so annoying to defeat. Now I can just calmly get back on track while I electrocute this guy. We really want to do well at this point though because every wave we take out three guys, that's a big step closer to new stuff. I'm actually going to use a bit of a different strategy right now. I'm mostly just going to sit here and shoot apples for a sec to restore my stats since this guy doesn't seem to be a particular threat to us. Everything can be going so good and then it can fall apart so quickly if they get just one lucky shot in on you. Okay, we, this is wave 80 so we should have unlocked I think even more arrows so we'll have a lot more to play with. Our stats are getting pretty low. I'm going to switch to multi-shot for a sec just to hopefully hit more apples even accidentally because we need help. It's really hard because when you start to panic you suddenly can't hit anything. Luckily we took out the worst of this wave so it's just this one last idiot who's in a pretty good position to shoot us. But if we're paying halfway attention we got him. Okay, new boss. Uh, he's actually at kind of a... Oh, we're out of stamina. This is really rough. Okay, well, we're in trouble. Luckily, those guys are shooting each other. I would love to shoot the boss in the head with an electric arrow. Got him. That's actually huge. Okay, the boss is dead. We might actually get away with this. If this guy misses or... Yeah, perfect. They killed each other. That was perfect. All right. Now, this guy... Oops, I meant to lower my arm. But I did make it so far there. I unlocked three new arrows. Plus $500, so we're going to get full speed, health, and stamina all up. Then we're going to do health one more time. And then Shuriken Arrow does that. I'm uh, not really sure what the point of that is to be honest. Oh, we pulled them toward us. That might be good in itself because it really pulls them hard. Wait, that was a rope arrow. The Shuriken Arrow is this one. I think it spreads kind of like a shotgun once it hits them. So if we hit them, um, yeah, these are really destructive arrows. I'm going to like these ones. So rope arrow versus the boss. How hard can we pull even the boss? Oh, that's super strong. We pulled them right over the edge. Plus, if we get a good shot, we can actually pull someone's head straight off. Uh, if they're wearing armor, it's a little harder to do, obviously. But no matter where we touch them, they die. One thing I also like about the rope arrow is how quickly it kills someone. All you gotta do is hit them once and then you pull them to their death. No strings attached. Okay, here's boss number two. Luckily, it wasn't a crossbow guy. We did pull him straight toward us, which was a little dangerous. But we killed him in like three arrows. Okay, here comes another boss. I saw that he had a helmet up top, so I pulled him the other way. That was so strong. We killed that guy right away. Our stats are running a little low, but it's, if we add this with multi-shot, this would be a winning combination. So next we're going to add extra armor for another $1,000. That gives me leg protectors. And you get in the hole. And you get in the hole. All the way back to the boss at wave 90. We should make him look easy because we pull him down into the hole. 
And then his minions also go down into the hole. We made that look really, really easy. This rope thing is way too strong. We're well over wave 100 now. That means we're unlocking new stuff. Uh, they are getting stronger though. And especially if I miss any shots, I get in big, big trouble. Everything's going so good until it's not. That unlocked us the axe arrow. So we'll add a little bit of damage to that and also maybe some more stamina regen. Then let's see what the axe arrow does for us. I think it probably hits really hard. Eh, maybe they hit with a lot of weight. I don't really know. We just upgraded the damage anyway, but I still feel like the rope arrow is going to be best because it's basically a guaranteed one shot. We are very armored now, so the enemies have to hit us basically right in our midsection and that's got to be while our arm is up. I may have found a new overpowered strategy. I'd follow them like this somehow, but I think that's actually going to give the enemies a very small target to hit that's very armored. Plus my bow is sitting right out front, so I have some really, really interesting angles on the enemies. So if we shoot this guy in the leg, we can drag him over the edge and continue on our merry old way. One thing I've definitely learned so far is the game gets really, really hard around level 100. The archers start spawning really quickly and they're accurate. But with a little luck, we're about to break a new record. I'm trying to shoot every apple I can along the way, they're all going to make a pretty big difference. And as soon as archers spawn, you want to hit them with anything at all you can. Because if you don't, there's going to be a lot of arrows coming back. We have officially broken a new record. That means we're soon to unlock a new arrow again. Hopefully an even better one. That was poor timing. That was also bad timing. But I got that guy and we're going to get that guy in just a moment. Headshot. There's definitely a problem too where I could be doing really good. Then all I got to do is take one straight arrow straight to the head. And then I'm in a lot of trouble. This will be wave 120 where we're going to fight another boss. Luckily he spawned in in a very good spot for me so we're able to just pull him straight over the edge. That guy got blown up. Now we're dealing with four archers uh, for every time we're going to start a level. My energy is running low and I don't really have a lot of ways to... Why is it shooting like that? Okay, got it. Got him. Things are okay but just barely. I really want that yellow apple. We took a few shots in its direction. We didn't get it. That's fine. Now we just gotta lose our head. But that unlocked me the telescope and chainsaw. So the telescope does this. Oh, it gets longer as it goes. Does that actually do anything? The chainsaw is just a chainsaw that continues to like keep going once it lands. So that might be fun. Okay, I might like the chainsaw a lot. It sticks into people. So let's try the chainsaw against one little boss. So far that's really chewing through him quite effectively. Okay, here's boss number two. We're going to fire some chainsaws at him and right under his helmet so he died. And boss number three, we're starting to run low on stamina, but I did land a chainsaw right in that boss's head and that was actually enough to absolutely obliterate him too. That chainsaw also stuck on that man's head. I'm just really glad they added chainsaw arrows to a game like this. It's just a lot of fun. Just scraping by to wave 80, so we should be fighting a boss pretty soon. Well, you know what? I made it as far as wave 82 with chainsaw arrows. My life is complete. 